do you feel when your face be Joel for the final bowl? Action, live cricket action never tried before. <gasps> Easy! Oh, oh, the ball's gone in the harbour. Oh, stop, stop, we'll have to stop. Well done, you win. John Tugel just there. Putting in a few runs for New Zealand. Welcome to the joint tonight on your Tuesday across Australia. We've brought the, the show ah! Ah! outside into the car park. It might not be such a good idea. Tim Rogers, captain in Australia tonight, will be playing solo acoustically on the show. She had it here to play. They're actually moving from New Zealand to Australia, so we're welcoming them with a game of cricket. Also coming in tonight... Oh, it's a real cricket ball too, so there's bound to be some injuries throughout the night. Andrew Mercado, the super jukey boy, is in to talk trash. He's talking about some no. stuff on TV that's been on the past few weeks and, of course, last night, some special stuff, and magazines as well. Just, oh, oh, yeah, the cake got, just take it easy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's all turning very violent, incredibly violent. Uh, let's have a bit of music. Let's kick things off. Oh, oh. there it goes! Yes. Did you hear that's a six? Well done, well done. Let's give us a call, get us on the website. The chat room's there. Let's go out now with a bit of Brown Hornet. They might be turning up in a moment. Get out their latest song, Passion, the Brown Hornet, here on the joint. He's definitely here. It's Tim Rogers, accompanied by the twin set. Were you accompanied by the twin set tonight? Uh, this is uh, one uh, fifth of the twin set, young David one fifth Lane. Of the twin set. Mm. Awesome. Uh, and the twin set and Tim Rogers have just released What Rhymes with Cars and Girls. First up, they're going to play a song that should be familiar to all of you. It's called What I Don't Know About You. This whole day was useless The next one's gonna be worse Somewhere in this badge of fortune Like a criminal wears a curse I wanna chase that rabbit right off of the rails And ditch the metal keeping my mouth in check But I need that muzzle like a razor and a stubble Cutting all this history from my neck do you remember the gear first saw you in eating Mexican in 92? Yeah. You're in between your folks and a birthday toast. It was black from your friends to your shoes. I'm picking apples out of paints and making record covers in the sky. And I missed my boat sitting here imagining your face when you cry. Don't be cruel I come up be the sugar in my tooth And I think I lie Well, I don't know about you This old day threw up some tickets But none I'd ever choose The sky's so heavy, yeah Hangs like a beer gut The sky spilling shit on my shoes Don't get me wrong Complains to got my legs like a cheap Christmas tree. But if I got faith, why am I so scared of everyone who down on me? Don't be cruel. I come on, be the sugar in my tooth. But I think I like what I. There's a fish and chip stall down the south coast ready Yeah, I can show you what I'm worth So set me up a bottle of the salt and vinegar Yeah, if you get there first You set them up and if you get there first Don't be cruel I come on, be the sugar in my tooth But I think I like what I On stage, we have Tim Rogers performing live on the joint. Ass, ass, kicking lady. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
She breathes on through my hotel room Like an interstate truck in the rain She said she cut her teeth on skinny gyms There ain't no scales I'm mapping now I just want to pay She spun me a real good story And never let the truth get in the way And that's the reason I'm still standing here today Said she'd clear downtown from the northwest of town In a 63 holding a J yeah. With a potato from Kentucky and a fresh pack of Lucky A Bowie compilation and say She spun me a real good story And never let the truth get in the way That's the reason I'm still standing here The reason I'm still standing here Damn straight indeed. Tim Rogers live on the joint. Uh, <laughs> what, what did happen at the Viper Room? Tim Rogers? The muffs given the call there. Uh, not much. There was a lot of drinks and things. I was, I was sitting on this couch in the, in the Viper Room getting... This isn't the story. I don't, I don't exactly know what Kim's talking about. But um, uh, we're sitting on the couch in this room where you kind of dress and it's like a two-way mirror. So it's a pretty small club, right? And... Um, sitting there in this room with Andy getting dressed and this lady who came in who runs the joint she said man you know last night I saw Steve Jones you know from the Sex Pistols getting blown by two hookers on that couch <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway that's that's um did you go back to the Viper room kind of hang out on the couch oh we, we did no yeah yeah just yeah, just lay back and look for the crusty bits so wait, wait the, for the, the Steve for the, Jones vibe just... yeah no um but we're, we're just sort of mates of the girl who runs that joint so anyway Sounds they played there with Sheehan as well so it's... yeah hmm Wow, how did that go down? Great. Great. Do they kind of fall in with the muffs as well? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They sort of, you know, lost each other. But uh, I think we've done... It. I think it was just the one show that we did with, uh, with She Had there, which was uh, great fun. Is They're a good band, huh? I like them. Have, have you done... Have they, have That's they their drum kit over there. Yeah, they, I saw them in uh, rehearsal before. Okay. Good-looking kids. They're, They're so loud. They must be so deaf. They rehearse so loud. They're looking a bit fresh, though. I reckon that uh, they haven't started that tour at all. No. Really? Yeah. No, they've been touring. What about the cricket action earlier? Yeah, yeah. Johnny's a, sensational. Johnny's not what a bad, John Chu would do with this? Not, not a bad batsman. He just hooked it right in. Oh, crazy play. What do you think the Australian version of the Viper Room would be? Is there one? Oh, I'm, I'm sure they're around. They all seem to be closing. Um, I don't know. Well, you, you just close that. Wait until Russell Crowe opens a club or something like that. Go, the Go Russell Go Club. <laughs> that would be very special. Look out for that at home, the Russell Clo Crowe Club. You don't know that's what Rusty Hopkinson screams when he's uh, rooting, do you? It's Rusty's. That's Rusty. It's not Russell Crowe at all. It's ah. Russell Hopkinson. Harrop, there's someone at home that will be interested by that information. Yeah. Um, now, as a fan of music, how did you feel when your kind of favourite artists went solo, like Pete Townsend or uh, Paul Westerberg? Was it a scary uh, moment? No, well, um, 
the band, I mean, still together, so I guess there's a bit of difference. I, I thought m most solo records are pretty dreadful. They're a kind of an opportunity for people in rock bands to make these very uh, introspective, uh, un untroubled kind of records. Whereas um, this record, it's, it's made by a band, and uh, it's, well, essentially it's dealing with some pretty mortal and kind of subjects. It's, uh, it's trying to, it, it's having fun, it's, it's celebratory and it's optimistic in a way. And um, it's not uh, spending a couple of months holed up in your home studio making a record. I just um, had a friend who had a studio, went there and did it. It was just going to be a record that we sold at shows that, that you and I were doing, or I was doing by myself. Um, but to answer your question, I uh, think that most solo records generally are, are awful. Are I, there something uh, you enjoy? I think Neil, treasured solo records? I think Neil Finn's solo record's really great. And I think when, uh, when Rod Stewart started going solo from, uh, from you know, Brian Auger and uh, from uh, the Faces and the Jeff Beck group, I think his first four solo records are genius. Uh, the, this is Rod Stewart. Yeah, yeah. No, Someone was bagging Rod Stewart today. I can't remember well, who it was. Well, I mean, he's, he's made some dreadful records. He's made, but his first four records are amazing. Handbags and Glad Rags and Every Picture Tells a Story and I'll Rank Out Whenever You Let Down. They're amazing records. And it's just a shame that someone like him has to keep on um, making uh, dreadful decisions, you know, and not um, sticking with his mates and making good songs. This is a good band. Can you hear them? Yeah, I've heard of them before. Yeah, I good. am you, I think. They're going to go somewhere. Is it, what about the Kiss solo records? Do they sit well with you? Oh, they were great. I mean, because it was a, a uh, similar cover concept and it was made a good T-shirt to put the four together. I mean, a very, I mean, very Gene Simmons-esque marketing ploy to at least the four together so people had to go and buy them all. And, uh, and you, you, You've never been into the big merchandising angle, have you? What does it pay? Um, I don't know, well, it depends if, if you do it like Kiss do. We've got a guy who makes really good, uh, I think the guy who makes you and my merchandise and um, that generally makes good stuff that, that hopefully people enjoy. It's not just sticking a, you know, we're doing a tour on a t-shirt and expect people to pay money for it. No, we, I mean, we try to give people value for money, but uh, then I really don't think that much about it, to tell you the truth. Yeah. You're skipping through a lot of questions here. Yeah, no, I don't know why that happens, it's always <laughs> weird. Can you read these, these lyrics out? It's kind of beat poetry. Maybe you could just... From the top? No, just from there, from just there. from there. Who is it? Well, you have to, it's a, it's a test, it's a quiz. Test, all children, hang on, I'll do it like a beat poet, all right? Awesome, awesome. All children are small and crusty and all pale, blind, humble waters are cleaning. A insect, dumb and torrid, comes off the daddy-o. How is an insect into this fur? That kind of thing? Yeah, what do you think of that? Do you know uh, who wrote that? No. A computer wrote that. Is that right? Yeah. I'll just I'll flick back to where the, the facts are. Um, this is the, that, a computer in Glendale, California, was programmed with the 500 words most frequently used by beatnik poets and told to create its own <laughs> poems. Right? Typical of the genre was auto beatnik poem number 41. Where's Insects. this getting to? Where's this getting to? Well, you didn't. The trendy thing at the moment is, is computer music to be doing the whole electronic sound, and you didn't do that at all. And the um, liner notes on your record kind of suggest that you've. You've gone the outlaw. Well, the, the chap, the chap, no, no, no. The, the chap who writes those line notes generally writes them when he experienced with, experienced with hallucinogens. But um, I'm not definitely in a war against uh, electronic still. I think people do it really well. I think there's bands who do it in a populist way. I've got me Goethe, obviously used a little bits in within their band and essentially still a great rock band. And uh, but uh, it's just it's just not for me. I'm just doing what I enjoy. It's definitely no crusade at all. I'll leave I'll leave the crusading up to. Uh, Ben Lee and Bernard Fanning and, you know, let yeah. them destroy each other, but... The old powder finger Ben Lee jail. Yeah. But, um, no, I'm uh, just um, doing the thing. It's what I enjoy, and uh, I'm, I really don't... It's not uh, a big-picture thing at all. It's what I still enjoy doing, and until I get sick of it, it would be betraying what uh, my whole thing is to, to go and do that. I'm not a person who looks at as furthering popular culture in any way. I just want to make myself happy. I want to make my girlfriend happy. I want to make my family happy, and I want to make people who can bother coming along happy and if that means dwindling numbers and out of step with today's uh, with 1999 that's fine you know look at me you reckon I know what year it is anyway well they're good goals I don't think it'll be totally dwindling hopefully society hasn't lost its soul completely we should give the two at eights and we should hear another song from you thanks for coming in oh, there's nothing there then, yeah? yeah that'd be cool and I'll do the dates oh I think they're just, right there oh I don't want to read them from there it hurts your eyes Tim Rogers and the twin set will be appearing at the Wollongong Uni Bar 17th of March 18th of March in the basement in Sydney the Gypsy Bar in Canberra you can catch them on 19th of March on the 20th of March, the Newtown RSL in Sydney, the grand opening of the esteemed new venue, which should uh, have a big warm place in everyone's heart. Uh, SJ's on Beaumont in Newcastle, 21st of March, 25th of March at Hoi Moe in Coffs Harbour, the zoo in Brisbane on the 26th of March, 27th of March, the Great Northern Hotel in Byron Bay. 
30th of March, Mojo's in Fremantle. 31st of March, Greenwich Bar, Perth. Margaret River Settlers Tavern on the 1st of April, April Fools. You've got to turn up to that one. 3rd of April, the University of Adelaide Bar. Tim Rogers and the Twin Set taking it on head to head. Right now, for the final time this evening, here is Tim Rogers with another song off the album, Songs About Cars and Girls. This one's called I Left My Heart All Over the Place. I want to thank you for your time on your program as well. Thanks very much. One, two, three. I was talking with my friend over a glass or four. She said, it just don't seem like holding hands means anything anymore. Well, I'm here to say that it just couldn't be true Cause something shifts the floor every time I get on next to you So last night, I went and left my heart all over the place Just to try and stop me thinking about each corner of your own pretty face I left it out all dressed like Christmas ham just to remind myself of what a whining sack of shit I am So hold my hand I don't move quick but I fall down often if you understand Let me plant this kiss right on you For nothing else but to keep the cold away for a minute or two So I smile, cause it takes less muscle and a farther brow. Swing around like a meat hook, just to catch what else is falling down. And even if it's all a hitch in a borrowed car, it's gonna take me blind and far away from the way you are. Cause I've been working so hard, I'm keeping my shoes there alone. But you mess me on up like a rocket fuel A long, long way from home So I leave myself all dressed like Christmas ham Just to remind yourself of what a wanted sack of shit I am So hold my hand Hey, I don't move quick I fall down often if you understand let me plant this kiss right on you For nothing else but to keep the cold away for a minute or two Last night, I went and left my heart all over the place Just to try and stop me thinking about each corner of your own pretty face well, I'm here to say that it just couldn't be true Cause something just ain't letting me get on away from you David Lane on guitar It's been a real pleasure. Thank you.